Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and share down below. Um, we are on video number 81 for Eden to Armageddon. Uh, <clears throat> volume 1. And here's Bella Beanie. Say hello, Beanie. Shalom, shalom. And she has a pretty little dress on today. Yeah. She likes them because they're soft and warm. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Manifestation of fallen angels increasing. Strange unidentified flying object phenomena have been steadily increasing over religious sites worldwide. And in 2011, lights were seen over Jerusalem's Temple Mount. Although some believe it was a hoax, such paranormal activity will only assist an anti-Messiah playing like Messiah in gaining world domination. Adolf Hitler, who claimed he was a UFO contactee, actually worshipped these demonic entities, piloting them as his G.O.D. In fact, Nazi hierarchy maintained their advanced technology came from these extraterrestrial beings who were supermen residing beneath Earth's surface. Hitler was poised to genetically design a pure superhuman race with their guidance if he promised to exterminate all pure Hebraic genes from Earth. These beings supposedly told Hitler once mankind's normal breeding and genetics were changed, then they could return to Earth's surface to rule and reign. According to these entities, their reign would bring back Camelot, heaven on Earth for mankind. The only thing holding their plan back was earthly scientists had to first completely destroy a certain group of people, Yahuwah's chosen, and then they could return. Satan knows for him to succeed as Messiah, all people must harmonically tu must be harmonically tuned away from their internal pineal glands communication with Yahuwah's Kodesh Ruach, or Holy Spirit. Since our scriptures claim Yahusha's return is, a, is set to occur in a time like on today's of Noah, resistance to Yahuwah's Ruach HaKodesh has, has to manifest. Occult, occultism and worship of fallen beings playing Allahims or GODs was a form of spiritualism rampant in Noah's day. Pushing our generation closer to days like those of Noah began to escalate with Adolf Hitler. Hitler established genetic experiments that eventually led to identification of pure Hebraic lineages so they could be detected and slaughtered. This evil plan was an attempt to thwart Yahuwah, separating his wheat from Satan's tares during a coming end of days great harvest. While Hitler is no longer running the show, Satan's lineage is still biogenetically mixing in their alchemical laboratories. Everything they possibly can to annihilate Yahuwah's natural order for every species of plant, animal, and human on earth. To maintain a record of paranormal infiltration from the spiritual realm, on November 4th, 1952, President Truman created a super-secret National Security Agency, NSA, using his executive order power. And I apologize if I forgot to say this, this is for entertainment purposes only. This organization was and remains totally exempt from all laws. Initially, its main focus was to keep quiet, growing UFO-related issues in USA space programs, while NSA handled American issues dealing with unusual and mounting unexplainable phenomena. Securing such an international scale became, an, became of great concern. So in 1952, a secret ruling body called the Bilderberg Group was organized to maintain 
coordinate and control inter international efforts to keep UFO knowledge from media. Um, hold on. All right, this is a very, very long chapter. I might have to split it in two. Okay. Their first meeting place, Bilderberg Hotel, is how it got how it got its name. Their first meeting place okay, sorry. The the group's headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland, where many contend these evil men maintain a secret world government controlling everything. Those successfully eavesdropping and infiltrating this group of internationalists report hearing plans to stage a potential UFO threat to usher in their new world order. Increase, increased numbers of UFO reports and abductions worldwide involving over 2,000 new cases each month during 2012, as well as recent recent releases of confidential files from various countries supporting the case for visiting aliens could allow the Bilderberg Group to use an alien crisis as a credible reason to create a world government. In 2007, MSNBC polled more than 10,000 people asking if they believed some UFO sightings were visits from extraterrestrials, and 63% said yes. Unifying armies of the world to, to fight off these invaders coming from the heavens does not seem far-fetched, especially since there are claims that good aliens are returning now to help mankind because a bad group is on its way to destroy us. This is a deceptive plan because all aliens are demonic beings connected directly to fallen angels who have been on earth since the fall of man. They are not from some faraway galaxy. Only Yahusha and his host of divine angels rule the Shamayim or the heavens. Illuminati's dragon bloodlines know this and are preparing Earth's armies to unite with Satan's bad angels by calling them good aliens to fight against the return of the real Yahusha and his angels, in turn calling them the bad aliens. Yeah, there's six and, and a quarter more pages, so next time we will be finishing this chapter. And I will finish it tomorrow, just so that we uh, we can stay, uh, uh, so that you guys don't have to re-watch this video to remember what we were talking about. But I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Now is my favorite part. It's time to praise Yahuwah. I'm going to sing a short praise, actually. Baldino. Sweetheart. Oh, there you go, baby. Okay, ready? No matter, no matter, no matter. <laughs> What they say or do to you Keep praising Yah No matter, no matter, no matter What they say or do to you Just keep praising Yah. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say or do to you. Just keep praising Yah. No matter, no matter, no matter 
to say or do to you. Just keep praising Yah. Hallelujah, all praise and esteem to the Most High, Abba Yahuwah. We love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah and Nishamayim loves each and every one of us. Ready, Dini? Shalom, 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 aloha. Until next time.